Look, this show you some rock anemones. They're really pretty. These are a Florida native, come from a shallow water. They're very common, but they aren't usually this pretty. They usually are kind of a tan to a brown. These guys, however, are what you might call the pick of the litter. They are really nice. We're uh, in the midst of reproducing these, and uh, it's going along pretty well. Got a lot of babies. <clears throat> This is my favorite here. Absolutely amazing. Another guy that looks really, really nice. The, um, with the um, with the in heavy feeding we've been doing, I'm getting a fair amount of reproduction. We've harvested about a hundred babies so far, and um, they're coming along. We're not positive that they're going to have all of the same colors that the adults will have, but. Uh, but we're, we're hoping so. They're, uh, they're certainly growing big on the feeding program that we're doing. We really, really are enjoying them. Lovely animals. Well, this is one of our big tanks. This, uh, this tank is <clears throat> 7 feet wide, 16 feet long, and um, <clears throat> about 32 inches deep. There's a lot of chalices in this tank. Lots and lots and lots of them. If I can get some nice pictures without the lights <clears throat> getting too awfully much in the way here, get a few shots. It's one of the support things that keeps the tank from bellying on out. <clears throat> well, we'll zap past. Try to get rid of that light again. Uh, here we go. We mix a lot of other coils together, some Fabius in this one. Um, but there's a lot of pretty chalices. Really nice stuff. Really nice one. That was not too bad, also. Quite a few of these guys. And these lights. Okay. Try a little different angle. A little bit better. Some of our corals just keep growing. Let's see here. This guy's about 12 inches across. Pretty good size. A few babies. And more and more. And the lights are going to do this again. Such as something pretty red. It's kind of nice. Stop here. All right. Let's have a look at some of these <coughs> broken up chalices. Looking their way along. Let's see, we've got a few zoanthids. One by the end. And a little bit of light in them. Okay. Some of the um, some of the corals <coughs> seem to be just a little bit prettier than 
anything ought to have a right to be. Let's see if I can give you a demonstration of that. There we go. That's pretty, whoop, a little too much there. That's pretty nice. And we have some more of them over here. And we're babies. And a nice big mother colony. You can see a face in this one if you really let want to. That's pretty nice. Alrighty, let's cut this off. <coughs> Alrighty. Um, in the uh, device that holds these tanks together. A lot of, uh, lot of pretty things here. Again, pretty little chalices. Uh, some of them are really, really attractive. Um, sometimes, when we put our pieces on out to grow, we wait a little bit too long, kind of grow all the way together. Some of our other pieces just keep growing and growing and growing. And then, um, in the relative shade of the edge of the tank, you get um, some Fabius that really like it light. I want to show you a particularly pretty Fabius, one of my absolute favorites, and it's this little guy right here. We've got uh, a number of pieces of that. Let's have a look at that guy. I think this is really, really gorgeous. Alongside it, we have another nice red chalice. Pretty good. And if we come back through the tray again, come back into another interesting chalice, um, another Fabia in here against the wall. And a few other pretty little lozenges already. 